So what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have with me a very special guest. This is my friend. She's a realtor extraordinaire. She's an Instagram queen. She does TikTok. She does it all. And I just want to welcome my friend, Michelle Rose, to the channel. Hey, how you doing, John? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Guys, just a little backstory about me and Michelle. Uh, when I first got started in real estate, she was there for me. Um, I met her at a, uh, a seminar. And she was like always helping me. She was always there for my questions and she still is to this day. So I'm very thankful for that. I always want to just let you know that I really appreciate you because you were very uh, important to me uh, getting my jump start off in my career of real estate. So I just want to thank you again for that. Yeah, well, thank you for having me on here. Like, I'm, I definitely appreciate it. And yeah, it's been a very interesting couple of years <laughs> since we... <laughs> first actually met I don't know if we haven't even met again but like definitely connected due to referrals and you know being a real right. estate agent and going through the ups and downs and stuff so yeah it's been right. great okay so just give us a little background about yourself how did you get started in real estate how long you've been doing real estate what areas do you work yeah so I grew up in Maryland um graduated from UMBC with a mechanical engineering degree and then right out when I got out of college, I went to work for a utility company uh, over in Virginia, which is like obviously the next state over. I was there for about 10 years doing project engineering, project design. And then during the last couple of years before I left is when I got my real estate license. And part of the reason why I got that was because there was a couple of uh, coworkers that I had been working with that also had their licenses, real estate licenses, but they were doing it just part time. But for me, I wanted it to be full time. So I went on to Google and I, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of agents out here that are doing it full time. Like, how are they doing it? And so I just learned, you know, it's all about consistency, what you get in, what you put out. And so I decided to um, have a schedule and stick to it in terms of when I was going to prospect, follow up, make calls so I can be able to get those deals. So you were so doing part time I, in the beginning and then you yes. transitioned to full time? So, yeah, so that was part time. Yeah. So what was it that that was like, OK, this is it. I'm going full time. What exactly happened where it was you just get a lot of business or what was the day that you said, OK, I'm about to do this full time? Yeah. So it was when I had gotten a couple of deals under my belt and I was like, hmm, maybe I can probably try and do this. And I wanted to make sure like I'm an analytical person and, you know, I want to make sure that I had enough saved in my savings account before I went out. Because I know, as you know, when it comes to real estate commissions, they don't always come every two weeks. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So I wanted to make sure I at least had enough um for a good couple of months where if i didn't have anything coming i was okay so when i had a certain amount and i said you know what let me i'm gonna set a date and i'm gonna put in my two weeks when that date comes mm -hmm. so um the first time when i set my date i think it was like around i said march march is when i was going to put in my two weeks that didn't happen <laughs> I pushed it back. <laughs> I pushed it back. I was scared. I wasn't ready. <laughs> and so then I pushed it back to, I think it was like June of that year. And then I was still wasn't ready. I was still scared. And then I said, you know what, September, I think it was around like August, September was when I definitely put in the two weeks. And, and after that, I was like, I'm hitting the ground running because now I'm, it's all me now. Gotta right. just do the work and just grind. Is there and any regret? At that time, what'd you say? Any regret? No, no regrets. No, definitely no regrets. Um, do kind of wish I'd started to uh, left sooner just to kind of get this ball rolling in the real estate business a little bit sooner. Um, and then I will say that um, it was it was definitely an experience, definitely experience in terms of just getting things situated. I still treated my real estate business as a nine to five because mm -hmm. I think that was what's really important, just having that routine in the morning prospecting the following up and then having appointments in the afternoon. And so at that time when I left, I, I had an Instagram account, but I really wasn't like, you know, I was posting here and there, but I wasn't as intent with it back then. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. Okay. Well, you just hit a big milestone on uh, Instagram, right? Yes, I did just recently. I wanted to make sure that I was hoping that I'd be able to reach the 10,000 followers before wow. I spoke to you so I can tell you, yes, I had 10,000 followers. <laughs> so yes, just recently um, it happened. And um, yeah, it, so 
very exciting, very, very cool. So. Well, how did <laughs> now what made you get involved with so you use Instagram for leads, right? It's mostly business and professional work. Yes, yes, definitely use it for leads. That was always my goal. Like, of course, I don't mind the followers, the more the merrier. That's awesome. But my mm -hmm. ultimate goal is to be able to connect with buyers and sellers who are, you know, looking to move and looking to find an agent um, that is knowledgeable that they know enough that they like and that they trust to want to contact me and say hey michelle i'm ready to move can mm -hmm. you help me so yeah. that's my ultimate goal so how did you get involved with instagram what made you choose like that platform to go out there and try something new and try something different to really get the um, the, the leads yeah well funny story funny thing is that i was never you know, everybody, most people, the older people have like Facebook and everything. And then when Instagram came out, I was like, I'm not having an Instagram account. That's <laughs> not me. But then one day my dad called me and said, Hey, Michelle, what's your Instagram account? And I said, what? <laughs> like, I said, let me call you right back. I was like, in my head, I'm like, there's no way my dad's going to have an Instagram account and I don't have one. So I quickly like created one, called him back and I said, Oh yeah, it's so good, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> so I really wasn't into Instagram that much then, but um, so I just would post periodically, you know, sold, I sold this home or, hey, this is a real estate tip or things like that. But I really wasn't intent, intentional until last year, till March of last year. And um, at that time, I had about like 300 followers. Mm -hmm. And so from March, was when I started, you know, as everybody does, you know, you go on Instagram, you go through that scrolling phase and you start looking yes. at all these videos, you get inspired, mm -hmm. you get, you know, excited, you laugh and, you know, get emotional all, of all these different posts that you see. And then when the reels started coming out, you know, in the past couple of years, I was like, well, this is awesome. I'd love to do this. <laughs> you know, I think this would be a pretty cool way to kind of advertise yourself or advertise myself to let people know that I'm in real estate. So um, when I started seeing like there were other agents or other content creators, not just real estate agents I would look at, but other content creators um, with just kind of posting consistently, I was just like, how are they doing that? It's a lot for me to just post once, but mm -hmm. some of them would do challenges. So I challenged myself on my own and said, you know what, let me post um, for the next month consistently and just kind of see what happens. Mm -hmm. And so I had planned it out in terms of like figuring out what I was going to post. And I said, you know what, not just one month, let me just stick to it for like three months. Don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about like, anything else just just worry about being consistent mm -hmm. and so from march till like august i gained 200 followers okay that's great <laughs> it wasn't much but i had gotten better between march and august at being consistent mm -hmm. with posting and getting better at my systems of like what i wanted to post and um, picking out the reels and videos and things like that so then from august till february of now that's when I went from 500 to 10,000 followers. So when you wait, so when you first started, you only got like 200 followers, but you were doing it consistently, but you wasn't really seeing the results that you wanted. And then after that, it just blew up from 600 to 10,000 followers. Yes. Yes. From 500 wow. to 10,000 followers in the past, what was that? Like five, six, five, six months or so. Mm -hmm. So, cause again, in the beginning, of course, when people are starting out the whole reels and side note part of the thing is that you want to kind of adhere to the platform that you that you're on mm -hmm. so with instagram they love people who are doing reels so that's you know that's where you want to kind of jump on the bandwagon and do reels because you can get a lot of uh, exposure a lot of views um from doing that mm -hmm. and so i mean in the beginning when I first started, I had no idea how to do the reels. I was just trying to figure it out. I would go on YouTube and get some ideas or I would kind of look and see what other people were doing. It took mm -hmm. me forever, but I was like, I'm sticking to the challenge and I grew. Up and okay. I been right. Now I'm not on, I'm not a big uh, social media guy. So I'm not on Instagram or Facebook like that. But when I do log on, I see your videos all the time. <laughs> 
so now like what is your upload schedule how long does it take you to um to like do these videos and get it out there to the public are you still doing it consistently on a daily basis or what's your schedule now yeah and i'm always trying to refine my my system my schedule so i do try to do what i call like a reels day where i kind of spend the time like i do i do time blocking because in the beginning mm -hmm. i used to just create the reel edit the reel add the text add the description add the hashtags and then post and that would take forever i think the mm -hmm. longest uh a reel that i've ever done was like four or five days it took me to finish because you know i'd start and then stop and then i'm like oh let me i gotta eat i gotta live i gotta feel <laughs> this stuff um but i was so determined to want to like i really really like this video i want to post it it's gonna take time mm -hmm. um so in the that was how i was doing it in the beginning just kind of all over the place so then i was like you know what i got a time block and i got to batch my videos so that's what a lot of people do in order to be able to consistently keep um posting uh videos on a daily or you know weekly basis mm -hmm. so for me i have my reels day I try to do it on sunday where i just spend two or three hours just creating reels doing nothing else but creating reels and then I will spend another time to edit the reels. It's not going to be the same time where I'm creating it. I'm going to time block another time, possibly another day to edit the reels in terms of chopping up the videos and things like that. And then when I'm done, I'll spend another time writing the text out. So once I finish that, then I can be able to pick and choose what day or days that I want to post um, on, on my Instagram. So that's kind of like what helps me. I do a batching reels day and then spread out the videos over a couple of weeks now would you say like on a weekly basis how much time would you say that you invest into that whole process throughout the week uh good question so i'm not going to include the time that i look <laughs> at reels and look at videos on instagram because you're gonna people naturally you're, you're gonna be watching going on instagram anyway and while you're scrolling on Instagram, that's where you get ideas. That's where I naturally will save things, save audio, save videos and things like that. But to, um, in terms of timing of like, um, from creating my reels to editing them and everything, like three, three, four hours, maybe like, I try to do like maybe five hours mm -hmm. and if i do five or six hours that's gonna last me for like a month really so you know that it's just kind of looking at it this way six hours may seem like a long time but um to last for a whole month it doesn't awesome. seem long at all it's barely what is that like a <laughs> a little bit more than an hour a week if you yeah. work monthly um now do you do any other type of prospecting or is this pretty much all you do now is to get your your client your clientele yeah, so then Instagram is my main platform. And then I also do um, calls in the morning. At this point, I used to do expireds and for sale by owners um, in the beginning when I was starting out. And then I, I still keep in touch with some of the leads that I've gotten because some of the expireds, they don't, they're not ready immediately sometimes or for sale by owners kind of take some time to nurture. Um, so for now, Instagram, and then I get referrals not only from people I've worked with and then friends and family, but also on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. So those are like my three, um, I still, like I said, I still do my calls in the morning, whether it's calling expires or calling leads from my listings and um, Instagram. Got so. you. So you spend six hours doing this on a, on a monthly basis. Uh, you've been doing it consistently since March of last year, right? Yes, you just hit the $10,000 mark. I mean, the 10,000 uh, follower mark. Now, what would you say is your, uh, your return on this investment? Like what type of leads do you get? Because that's what okay. everybody wants to know. Are you really getting a lot of leads where you can just do this full time? Or is it just a couple of leads scattered here and there? So I will say in the beginning, again, everything in the beginning takes a little bit of time. But now for the past couple of months, consistently, I have been getting like about three, four leads conservatively a week, mm -hmm. at least. Mm -hmm. um, and then some of those people, because I market, obviously, you know, obviously to buyers and sellers, but also there are real estate agents that do follow me as well, too. And so with buyers and sellers, not all of them are living in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Some of them are living in other areas. So um, I do refer out these leads to um, 
you know, it's a partner agents of mine throughout the United States, but yes. they are real. They and, are I, real. and I went out and I bring that up because uh, now this is another fun fact, guys. Uh, she's been giving me leads. I currently have three leads that she sent to me. Uh, one is going under contract. I'm working with one now. And the other one is a little bit, he's, they're still deciding. So they are very good, legit leads. So thank you for that. Um, I'm always willing to take leads. Um, so now you're making money from the leads that you get directly, but you're also making a referral fee from sending out those leads to other agents. Yes. Yes. That's how I kind of, I have it set up. Like if um, somebody wants to buy or sell, of course they can message me or they can DM me. And I also have a link in my bio where you can be able to set up a time to speak with me if you want to buy or sell. So mm -hmm. in fact, yesterday, I think it was yeah, twice this week, I had someone use, go into my, um, I use Calendly and they fill out their information. I had an appointment with someone yesterday. Now I did thought, I thought the lead that, um, that I had an appointment with yesterday, I thought it was a fake lead <laughs> because <laughs> the, the person was named like, like Billie Jean or something like that. Like I, I thought like, you know, I was like, oh, is this a real person? But, you know, I, I went through the whole process and because it's a Zoom call, you're going to talk with me via Zoom and it was a, li a live person, person was looking to buy um in actually out of state they're looking to buy out of in another in uh, texas i believe so i haven't had a fake lead yet nice and you said you're, you're average around three to four a week yeah on the conservative side and then some of the people that do reach out to me they are looking to buy and sell i had mm -hmm. a couple of people one person recently she has a property in chicago so she wants to sell. She has a property here in Virginia that we're going to be working on selling and she wants to buy in Texas. Like, you know, it's just people all over. And right. um, it's pretty cool. So, no, that's amazing. So are you, um, would you recommend doing this once you get the, the followers up to do this full time? As far as um, like do your Instagram videos and the TikTok videos, you would do that full time when it comes to prospecting for new clients or do you, is this just a small portion or do you think that uh, they should just focus a little bit here, a little bit there? Or should they put all of their eggs in one basket when it comes to lead generation? Um, I think I don't think you should put all your eggs in one basket because with any type of lead generating um, that you're going to be doing, it's going to take time before you start to see the results. Um, it's going to require a lot of time in the beginning because you're still trying to figure things out right mm -hmm. you're still trying to figure out how many times you're going to post or what you're going to post who you're marketing to what your niche is and all that so and during that time you just want to work on being consistent once you start being consistent then you'll start seeing your system you'll start seeing like patterns on like okay i know i can do this or maybe i shouldn't be doing that um so instagram or social media is a really interesting place to start um, but it shouldn't be like your only place if you're starting out. Right. So, yeah. Well, what would you say since you, since that's one of your focus, your areas of focus, what would you say are like some of the, the, well, we know what the pros are, but what are some of the cons of, of doing these type of, um, um, videos and, and putting yourself out there like that? Is there any cons, any, any, any um, to warn against? So you will get trolls. Okay. That it just comes with the territory. Like, of course, that's when life. you're doing great. Yes, it is. That's life. Yes, mm -hmm. you're going to get trolls. I mean, it can take a lot of time, especially if you're trying to figure it out. And but once you again, once you figure out what you're doing, it gets better. Um, and then I think it's just yeah, I think that's just that's pretty much what I can think of right now is mm -hmm. that it can take it can take time and then you'll get people just saying negative stuff but gotcha. hey um there's more the good thing is that there's more good people than there are the mean people that are right. out there do you get paid for for like those type of posts do you also get paid through like instagram or 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 yes TikTok so or anything? i have gotten paid through instagram i got paid 100 <laughs> last year <laughs> uh -huh. so and it was very interesting because um and i, I wasn't even at ten thousand. i don't even i was about like maybe a three or four thousand it wasn't a lot mm -hmm. and they just kind of messaged me and said hey here's a hundred dollars for one of your videos and so um and then they gave me a time frame to like get paid to do more reels and stuff so I've gotten paid 
they they do like surprise bonuses is what they call it, mm -hmm. um, where they can pay you to either you know post reels in a certain period of time or um, if you post a live video or things like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So so three different. It hasn't been like of... consistent. Like yeah. Do you think the more followers you get is going to be more consistent, more money? I'm assuming yes, but. Um, in terms of getting paid through Instagram or getting paid yeah. through the leads. Through Instagram. So I'm still trying to learn how the whole getting paid through Instagram works because mm -hmm. so far they've just been just randomly would random mess randomly message me and say, Hey, you know, we're going to give you, here's a, here's some money. Mm -hmm. um, so I still don't know yet that other part where if they do pay consistently. So, mm -hmm. but for me, regardless whether Instagram pays me or not as great as icing on the cake, but I focus on trying to get leads from, um, or, you know, educating and entertaining buyers and sellers about real estate, because that's where, you know, I would get my credit from, you know what I mean? Like connecting mm -hmm. with the buyers and sellers or people who are interested in real estate. So. Okay. So here's another question for you. So with the sea of agents that's out there, how do you separate yourself to make people want to connect and reach out to you? Um, like, what is your videos? Tell us a little bit about your videos. What's, what type of um, what type of content is it? Are you doing open houses? Are you showing your meetings behind the scenes? Like, what makes people want to relate and reach out to you? Yeah, so all agents are going to come off very knowledgeable and say, hey, I know about the real estate industry, you know, come hire me. But kind of like what sets me apart is just me being myself. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's pretty much it. And what's interesting is that because of the reels and the videos that I make, um, there's a lot of, I've gotten a lot of messages from other agents saying, hey, you know, we love your reels. I, I love your videos and it's very inspiring and everything, but I just want to let you know, like, I, if it's okay for me to, you know, do a similar video that you've done, like, I hope it's not going to be an issue. And I say, sure, no problem. Like you can do it exactly word for word, but it's still coming from you. You're going to come from a different mm -hmm. personality than if, than from my video doing it. Right. So, you know, that's where I say, that's what sets me and anybody else apart is just that it's my personality. I'm unique that mm -hmm. way. And it shows through my postings on, on Instagram. I told you the leads that you sent me, right? The one thing that they would always say is, I don't know what made me reach out to her. Um, I don't even reach out to people on social media, but I reached out to her and it was just a good thing for them. Like, it's just something that, that they're attracted to about you. And you just, wow. you know, awesome. they, so they always well, yeah. had good things to, <laughs> always had good things to say about you. I appreciate that. I do get that. I do get a number of people messaging me, DMing me and commenting and say, oh my gosh, you're, you're such a inspiration. This is funny. Like you're, you're so relatable. You're making this understandable. Cause again, my goal is to educate and entertain whatever they call it, edutainment or um, mm -hmm. entertainment education mixed in one word to just you know, provide that to buyers and sellers, just to people. And whenever they're ready and they want to think about real estate, they think of me. So, gotcha. yeah. so this is another question because you know, so many people, they're always, anytime they start a new endeavor, there's always so many excuses. Oh, I need to do this. I need to get this. How do you shoot and film your videos? Is it anything, a camera? Is it your iPhone? How do you, do you have a microphone, lights? What's, what's your setup for shooting and filming your, your reels? Yeah, so I have nothing fancy. I just use my iPhone. <laughs> um, I actually, well, side note, I have I have like two phones, my personal phone and my work phone, and so I, I have the Android and the um, the iPhone. So I can I can kind of see the similar the diff, slight differences when you're posting on um, on an iPhone as opposed to when you're posting on the Android. Mm -hmm. um, but I mostly use my iPhone, and um, there's, there's nothing special. I have my my ring light. I have the tripod and have that all set up and that's pretty much it. And I try my best to do like any type of edits or any type of postings, 95% in the Instagram app. Of course, there are other apps that complement the Instagram uh, videos or whatever you're trying to do. Um, I know one I'm thinking is Premiere Rush, um, but I try to keep it focused on one place because if I go to other apps and stuff, then it's, it's gonna, I know it's gonna take me longer to try to do a video and I'm trying to be very consistent and work on my quality time when it comes to doing the videos. So mm -hmm. yeah, nothing fancy for now. 
<laughs> All right. So what's the next step? Because you're already at 10,000. So what, what, what's the next step for you? Are you going to try to, to get to 100,000, a million followers? Are you going to try to share your knowledge? Are you doing it? What, what's the next step for you? Yeah. So next step. And you blew up pretty fast. I know, because you know what, honestly, side note, um, I've always wanted to just have a thousand followers. I was like, a thousand followers is like a good number, but mm -hmm. like I blew past that so quickly. I didn't even like get a chance to <laughs> like <laughs> appreciate it so much because I, 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 it went so fast. And um, so then I'm like, all right, $10,000. I mean, 10,000 followers, like I'm going to hit that by springtime and it's not, we're still in winter. Mm -hmm. So my next, my personal goal next is to try and get to 20 then 50, then 100, like got to go in steps. Mm -hmm. But um, in the meantime, I just stay consistent, you know, posting on reels and especially the popular videos that have the little arrow next to it. And then just posting um, value content. Um, I do have gotten a number of people asking about like, you know, how I do my process and how I post and things like that. Um, so I might have something in the works I will. I just got to sit down and plan for it. I will have something in the works in terms of how I post reels consistently and how I was able to grow from, you know, basically I'll say 300 or 500 to 10,000 in like six months. So that's something I am going to be working on in the next couple of months. Or so, so stay tuned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so how can people reach out to you? If they want to reach out to you, if they have some, some referrals for you, uh, how do they get in contact with you? Yeah, so my Instagram handle is at sold with rose, sold with rose, and then it's the same thing um, on my TikTok actually, which I don't really have much people following on TikTok, but I'm going to challenge myself this time this year in the next week or so to start posting on there as well. So hopefully the next time we talk, I'll be able to talk about how I went viral on TikTok. Yes, yeah, so um, <laughs> TikTok is also sold with rose, and then my Facebook, everything sold with rose, sold with rose .com is my website as well. License leasing around the Virginia area, but um, I also help people outside the DMV as well so i have the connections and definitely somebody from new york so if i get anybody definitely appreciate it <laughs> well again thank you so much for spending some time with me and answering these questions um like i said you've been there since day one and i really appreciate you for that so and i do thank you again for coming to my channel to, to answer these questions and hopefully you know the newer agents out there or any agent out there you know picked up some tidbits and some pieces that can hopefully propel their career and help them get started as well yes thank you for having me this was fun